Increased take-home pay, an enhanced quality of life, a brighter future. All of these and more are becoming even more evident under the coalition government as it continues to increase salaries for the public sector. This is InfoHub Extended. This week, we'll examine the recent announcement of significant salary increases for the public sector and the coalition government's consistency in this regard. Are you ready to embark? on a truly epic adventure to an undiscovered corner of South America, where some of the most spectacular natural attractions are unveiled within a beautifully diverse landscape. From the wetlands and savannas to the ancient mountains, magnificent waterways and lush and enriching rainforest would provide a vast playground for some of the most exotic and breathtaking creatures on the planet, including many of the world's giant species. This untouched land of mystery and wonder serves up an exclusive experience for travelers. So are you ready for a new, awe-inspiring adventure? Welcome back to nature. Welcome to Guyana. Fresh on the heels of a similar announcement in 2018, Finance Minister the Honourable Winston Jordan broke the news of a hefty salary increase for public servants this year and a significant growth in the minimum wage. The announcement, though pleasant, was expected as the administration had adopted a culture of increases since it took office in 2015. It was a fulfilment of a promise in its 2015 manifesto a promise to do all it could to offer Guyanese a much better life than they were living in the not-too-distant past. From the onset, the administration moved head-on in the delivery of the good life with the payment of an across-the-board bonus for all public servants. At the end of 2015, all public sector workers took home with their December salaries an additional $50,000. In 2016, bonuses for public servants was $25,000. In 2017, public servants were impressed by news that they would get an increase in their salaries and that it would be retroactive to the first month of that year. By 2018, as the economy continued to strengthen, Minister Jordan told public servants that their salary increases for that year would be retroactive and free from tax. Prior to 2015, the previous administration paid bonuses on the salaries of members of the disciplined forces only. Minister Jordan believes that the move was designed to divide rather than unite the people. The salary increases for this year will surely see a better life for all, making the announcement of the increases in an address to the nation on Wednesday, November 13. His Excellency President David Granger said public servants provide public goods, which benefit everyone and every sector of the economy. According to the head of state, public servants will see increase between 8.5 and 9% this year. Persons earning between 64,200 to 99,999 will see a 9% increase in their salaries. In their December salaries this year, this category of workers will be taken home and added 69,000 336. The increases will be applied to teachers, nurses, doctors, members of the GAN Defence and Police Forces and the security services. Public servants provide public goods and services which benefit everyone and every sector of the economy. The APNU AFC Coalition is committed to creating a proficient, professional, highly motivated and well-paid public service. Your government is committed to good governance and to ensuring that all Guyanese can enjoy the good life. At the same time, 
public sector workers currently within the 100,000 to 999,000 brackets will see an 8.5% increase, while those earning above 1 million will be given a 3%. The increases to salaries this year have taken a quantum leap from previous years. Last year, the scaled salary increases ranged from 7% for persons making under 100,000 to 0.5% of persons making more than 1 million. In 2017, public servants earning between $55,555 and $55 to $99,999 were granted 8% increase. Those earning $100,000 to $299,999 were given 6%. Persons earning between $800,000 to $1,000,000 were granted increases at 0.5%. President Granger also announced some significant increases to varying allowances. Station allowances will be increased by over 260% from $2,800 to $10,000. Hinterland allowances will be increased by 100 to 600 percent from between $4,000 to $12,000 to $24,000. Risk allowance will be increased by 900 percent from $500 to $5,000. Clothing allowance for teachers will be increased from $13,000 and 22000 1,135 to 15,000 and 30,000 respectively. Public servants have received annual increases in their wages and salaries consistently since 2015. Personal allowances have increased significantly. The income tax rate has been reduced and the tax on employees' contributions to NIS was removed over the last four years. Moving up from 64,200, the minimum wage has taken a 9% hike, representing a 77% overall increase since 2015. Sweeper cleaners and all employees in the public sector earning the minimum wage will from December receive $70,000 following the implementation of the new public service basic salary. The PPP administration had taken nine years to move the minimum wage from just 50% from $26,070 in 2006 to $39,540 by 2015. However, in less than five years, the coalition government has increased the minimum wage by a whooping 77%, from $39,540 to $70,000. This is unprecedented as it represents the highest increase in the minimum wage in the history of the country. The newly announced increases will see public servants doubling their take-home salary for the Christmas season and come January, the increase will remain permanently on their paychecks. Minister Jordan had initially relayed that the hike to public servant salaries will take the overall increase to an all-time high of 75%, a record unheard of under any previous administration. And look at the space of time. We started increasing wages from the 4th of July 2015. And the last increase was retroactive to, Ju to, to January 1, 2018. So in two and a half years, we would have increased salaries by over 64%. Over 64%. And by the time we are finished with salaries for this year, I can guarantee you that between the 4th of July, between the 4th of July 2015 and the 1st of January 2019, it will be over 75 percent increase. The minister pointed out that it is the coalition government that also increased personal allowance. If you were working for 60,000, then 50,000 would have been your. We call, I used to call it free pay. I don't know what to call it, a personal allowance. And you had to pay a tax on 10000 And the tax at that time, I believe, was 30% or 3%, something like that. If you were working for 100000 then still 50000 would have been your free, free pay. And you had to pay a tax on 50000 And if you were working happily for $500,000, only 50000 you were being allowed. 
and you will have to pay tax on 450000 We change all of that. It was under the coalition government too that the marginal tax rate was reduced from 33.3% to 28%. The administration was able to do all that as well as pay off loans left by the previous administration, bail out the Ghana Sugar Corporation and much more in its four years in office. The announcement of the salary increases last week raised some eyebrows in the opposition's camp. But Minister Jordan assured that the coalition will continue raising salaries. He said talks in the opposition quarters opposing the salary hike are nothing more than foolish and should be outrightly rejected as the opposition does not have the interest of Guyanese at heart. Let him know by tomorrow. Let him know by tomorrow that the monies that have been allocated to our hard-working public servants, our hard-working members of the disciplined services, is given now and forevermore. Amen. It is a sustainable increase that you in January you'll see a pay packet, next year December you'll see a pay packet. Minister Jordan emphasized that any salary increase would mean a better life for workers. We paid it to all of the public sector, not just um, a certain category of the public sector that was done in the past and that was meant to divide our workers. Um, we, I think the reaction and the reports of our last increase prior to going into um, our uh, elections has been nothing short of astonishing. Uh, I think everybody uh, accepted that the government has done well for them and I think they see a future with this government where they can um, be sure that the government will be looking after the interests. Following the major announcement of the salary hike, InfoHub took to the streets to hear from the ordinary Guyanese. The increase is very good because now you know more youths in, in our society will be able to want to venture out in the you know, government sector. And giving back to Guyanese to know that you know, you're getting the opportunity to work for the government and to give back your energy and stuff like that is, is very good. It's going better for me because it's going to assist my model. At least we'll be able to have a better Christmas with all of our kids. We're looking forward for the increase because some of us have families to take care of. And we have children who go into school who will need the money to, to do stuff for them. It will change our minds on how we go forward looking at these type of jobs. So this increase will help most people. It most certainly will. And like the Minister of Finance said, Ghana is certainly moving at a very fast rate to the place it should be. That's all for now. Thank you for watching InfoHub Extended. Goodbye.